Welcome back and we will continue with chemistry it is all that matters and today we're going to talk about measurement accuracy and precision. Now a measurement is any quantity that has both a numeric value a number and a unit. So measurements could include 66 inches tall, 15 years old, 37 degrees Celsius, 36 cubic centimeters where 66 is the numeric value and inches is the unit 15 is the numeric value, years is the unit, 37 is the numeric value with degrees Celsius as the unit, and 36 with cubic centimeters as the unit. When we're dealing with measurement, we want to deal with the ideas of accuracy and precision. So when dealing with accuracy, we're going to have this target here, and we're going to have five different shooters shoot at the target. So the first shooter not very good, pretty scattered all over the place. Now the second shooter shoots and wow, all those shots are in the exact same spot but they're off the center. And the third shooter goes and that third shooter hits three in the bullseye but has two pretty scattered and then the fourth shooter shoots right here on the edge of the inner white circle. So what are we looking at here? which shooter was most accurate? Well most accurate is the green but the green also has two that are really scattered. Then you have which one is most precise. Now the one that is most precise is the dark blue one over here on the left and that one's the most precise because they were able to repeat the same shot every time. And then the royal blue one in the white circle in the center, that person is a little bit more accurate and a little bit more precise. Now when we deal with chemistry we have to decide is it better to be accurate or precise? Well accuracy is good because you're closest to the correct answer, the true value. But if you can only do that once or twice and then you also have these scatterings around you're not too sure of why you're making mistakes or what those mistakes are where a person who is precise is going to get the same answer over and over again which means that there only needs to be one or two minor adjustments to get them closer to the actual value. So what determines accuracy and precision? Well accuracy is a measure of how close a measurement comes to the actual or true value while precision is a comparison of how close a series of measures are to one another irrespective of the actual true value. So in chemistry we would choose to be both accurate and precise. Now precision is dependent upon the scale of the item we're using in our measure. So for instance here we have three different scales and when we look at the precision which one is going to be more precise? Which one is going to give us a better solution? Well the one on the far left is in units of 0.1 where the one in the middle is in units of 1 and over here on the right we have measures of 10. Well in those each of those cases there's a lot of variance as to where that answer could fall. If the measure came between one of these lines here on the right do we know if it's 15 or 18 or 16 where over here on the left, we're pretty accurate to, I mean, we're pretty precise to 0.1 units. So precision is dependent upon the tool we use, we're using to measure. So like I said, we would love in chemistry to be both accurate, true answer, true value, and precise, be able to repeat that true answer, that true value each and every time.